Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to be doing a unboxing of Harry Potter, the complete 8 film collection. People who know me personally will know that I'm a big Harry Potter fan. It's one of the great films that I grew up with, with. Um, and I'm sure that many of you out there enjoy the series just as much as I, I do. Now, this is the DVD version, not the Blu-ray version. But the DVD version is, I suppose, you can watch it um, on whatever player you want. If you haven't got a 3D Blu-ray, uh, if you haven't got a Blu-ray player, sorry. Um, so let's just get into this. Okay, so what you would expect from it being a eight-film collection is that. Basically, there's going to be two films on each disc because it's a um, it's a four disc collection. So first of all, we'll start from the very first movie in the um, series to the very last one. So first of all, we've got the Philosopher's Stone, and then on the back we've got the Chamber of Secrets. Then we've got the Prisoner of Azkaban and the um, Goblet of Fire. The Order of the Phoenix and the Half Blood Prince, and then the Deathly Hallows Part One, and then Part Two of that. Um, so we'll go through the individual films and give a little verdict on each and in, in every one. So the first one is, of course, the Philosopher's Stone. Now I like this. I like this film because it gave a, a nice kickstart to the, um, the the series introduced us to Harry, to um, the Weasleys and to Malfoy. They really got it up and start running, you know, sort of got the series up and running in a really nice, clear way. Um, now, year two was probably my favourite year because um, of the Basilisk and also the flying car and the, the spider. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's everybody's opinion of what they prefer. But personally, Chamber of Secrets, that was... That was a really good one for me. So year three, we've got the uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. And again, I didn't really like this at, be at the beginning because um, of the, I suppose, the um, change of story slightly. You had the Dementors coming in and it was, it was sort of where they all grew up and it sort of lost the young, youthful sense of year one and year two. But still, I've learned to like it now. Year four, the Goblet of Fire. Again, the competition, it was fantastic and um, I really like that one. Then we've got year five, which was, of course, the Order of the Phoenix. This one was a good one. Um, um, and then you've got the Half-Blood Prince, which is after that, which is really where it all started falling apart. And um, if you haven't seen the film, then I'm not going to give anything away. But basically, we lose Dumbledore in this one. Year 7, Part 1, Deathly Hallows Part 1. I wasn't really keen on this one, simply because of the, perhaps, lack of action, lack of story. They were out of um, Hogwarts at this point, and um, it started to move on away from Hogwarts, the Hogwarts setting, more towards London and the countryside. And then you've got Part 2, which is probably one of the favourite ones because of the amount of action in it, the amount of... Um, really exciting scenes in it and we also get to see uh, the truth behind Snape and um, Harry as well. I'm really looking forward to watching this box set from start to finish. It's, um, it's, a, it's a really enjoyable film series if you haven't seen it already and if you have seen it I would uh, advise buying this, this box set. Um, I just enjoy each film in that they have their own sort of stories to them and um, that the three main characters Although they do progress throughout the film series, they also progress um, in the real world and you see them growing older, uh, voices deepening, etc. Um, and so I'm just really looking forward to it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, everyone. And um, if you could, please leave me a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't done um, already. And um, I will see you in an upcoming video.